Fire YouTube. Today we're doing a review of the uh, Petra Tools two and a half gallon sprayer, battery power sprayer. It's not a battery pack, it's an internal battery that you charge. And like I said, I watched a, a few unboxings, but I also watched a few uh, videos that showed just little squirts and everything. They didn't show enough, they didn't show it in full flex. I've used it on a few different properties now, and I, I really liked how it worked. So I decided to do a real review and slash video showing how it works. This wand right here, this piece already comes put together. But this wand part right here, the brass part, or what looks like brass, on, on this part going into the bottom of the actual sprayer, sprayer uh, handle, and this the uh, threads on this wand, use plumber's tape, the Teflon tape. It'll stop all leaks. And also make sure the gaskets are in there good. It has the extension and the adjustable uh, wand. So it extends out. Looks like another almost a foot out. I have it adjusted to a like a I have it adjusted to a mist, but it still covers. First, I'm going to do what's on the fence. Put the strap on. Hold it. Like I said, it looks like it works pretty good for me. It's about as heavy duty as it gets for me. Petra Tools, two and a half gallon battery power sprayer. Not a battery pipe, it's an acid battery that's inside of here with the pump. Basically you have your on and off switch facing down is off. I also 
label label this with a, with a corporate, of course, a black sharpie. It reads by the liters. So I mark one gallon, two gallons, two and a half gallons. Because that's that's the way I'm doing my measurements. I'm not doing it by liters. That way when I pour the water in there, I know where exactly where it's at before I put my mix in or put my mix in and then pour the water. Might be even better for mixing purposes. But uh like I said, this part, <clears throat> it also comes with a shoulder strap. This part comes, the brass part comes with the uh, telescoping rod. So basically, it goes up and down. And then you can lock it into place That's by twisting it to the left. And this spout is adjustable. Like I'm going to turn it on and show you. Right now, it's squirted the mist. The tighter you go with it, the big this will go. Like, I'm gonna go all the way out. That's all the way in, so I'm gonna go all the way out with it. And of course, I squirted myself in the face. So when you're shooting it, see it turns from a mist, a wide mist to a fine mist to a string. Like that. And basically that's the way it is. So if you gotta you wanna do a lot of coverage, you go into a mist. Like that. And you wanna wanna go uh, spot spot hit, go with the string. That's it. it. Does a damn good job. It never loses pressure. That's what I was worried about. I want to make sure it didn't lose pressure. <clears throat> I don't have a a rack for it yet, so thinking about getting a a, a fire hose rack. I seen a few of them on Amazon to go with it. So for right now, I just put it in my. Uh, Edge to my rack, take the bungee cord, and then also release the pressure. After you turn it off, release the pressure. And also come in here. It's one of those moves. That's how it holds it. Holds it right up against the there. Then come across here, drop it down. Once again, that's the pressure tools. Two and a half gallons sprayer, battery powered, not battery packed. And I also, in the back, I just used about a gallon and a half on that hole behind that fence line. So it wasn't that much, wasn't bad at all. Cause longer.